Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode I am going to show you how to make a converter that will convert coal that's near it into diamond. So let's get into the coding. So as you can see I have created a new plugin, it's called Wormhole because I based this on the Cosmic Prison server Wormhole where you can throw in your items and then they get enchanted. And I thought that was a really cool idea, so I um, looked into it and I found a way to do that kind of stuff and I made my own version of it called the converter. So of course you need to start with actually being able to place a converter because the converter is going to make use of a armor stand. And to do that we are going to do public void on player place block. So we are going to do a block place event. So that we can actually place down the converter. And as you saw in the preview, it was a either get block diamond block dot get type dot equals material dot diamond block. Diamond block like that. And then close it up with a bracket and then a curly bracket. And what we are going to do is we are going to spawn in an armor stand. And I'm just going to call it converter and it's going to cast it to armor stand of course. Be a newly spawned entity. So either get player dot get world dot spawn entity spawn entity location is going to be e dot get block dot get location and to make it centered we actually need to add a uh, half to the x nothing to the y and a half to the z so that it's in the middle of the block then we are going to spawn entity type dot armor stand armor stand over there and that actually does it for uh, the spawning of the armor stand now there's a couple of things we want to change of course we want to set its custom name to converter in my case uh, you should do something which is a little more beautiful and then we need to set the custom name visible to true because otherwise the player won't see the name. And I also like to do converter.set visible to false so that you can see that it's a armor stand. Converter.set AI to false and converter.set gravity to false as well. And the last thing you want to do is converter.set invulnerable invulnerable to true uh, that way players can't accidentally kick out the converter or uh, move it by pushing something into it okay that takes care of our converter spawning and now the actual um, dropping of the item is an other event so we're going to do public void on player drop item and of course you can do uh, event handler What's wrong with event handler? Nothing. On player drop item, and it's going to be a player drop item event. E, of course. Let me import that. And what we are going to do is we are going to check if e dot get item drop, so that will return the actually entity. They'll get item stack. Uh, that will give us the item stack that was thrown. Dot get type equals in our case material dot call. And if it does, then what we want to do is we want to actually delay this uh, a second because we want to uh, only measure uh, whether it's inside of the radius of the converter when uh, the thing has dropped. So I'm just going to do a new bucket runnable, just an anonymous runnable, and I'm going to make it run just a little later, so run task later. And now there isn't any use of making a class constructor when we're only going to use the plugin once. So what I'm going to do is bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot get plugin. And I know my plugin is going to be called wormhole. Yeah, I chose for that name because I based it on the wormhole, but I changed it later to a converter. So wormhole and then I'm going to delay it by 20. This will also get your main class, so you do not need to have a class constructor or a static variable, etc., etc. This is way easier if you only do it once. 
Okay, so inside of the run method, we are going to loop through all the entities, entities uh, and that are inside of the item. So get item drop the get nearby entities. Now over here you can divide the radius of the scan, but also the radius of your uh, converter. And I just do three, two, three. That way, um, it it's just quite a simple radius to show. Let me import all the necessary stuff, and we gave it a custom name. So if end dot get name equals converter, of course equals converter. Then what we want to do is we want to get the item drop again, and now we want to set the item stack to a new item stack of uh, material dot diamond. And then we want to, of course, because you can also drop multiple items as well uh, in once at once. We also want to get the items, item drop, uh, get item stack again, get amount, because we also want to keep the same amount. This will actually fix it for, yeah, for your converter. It's really easy and it looks kind of nice, at least I think. So let's go and check this out on the surface here over there. Sorry. Back inside Minecraft again and let's go take a look at what we have created and let me reload the server so that I am sure that it's the newest version and if I drop my item as you can see it gets converted into a diamond and when we drop the whole stack at once they all get converted to diamonds and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to our Discord channel. Let's get it to 100 members in the next month. Hope to do that. We're at 90 now. 10 is possible in a month. That will be one in every three days. Doable. Hope to see you over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.